Hello again. Well, you might, if you watch my other video about using Simplify 3D with the variable settings wizard to create two color objects. This time we're going to start right off where we left off. I'm going to go back and change this. We're going to add now three extruders and do a little mixing with this one. Process is the same. All we have to do is add our third extruder. And we do the same thing. We're using the variable settings wizard. The only thing different, if you've got an STL that has three or more uh, segments or three or more STLs to make up one model for uh, dual or three or four color printing, the only difference is with that is we have to select models to print with each process. If we're doing it this way, all we have to do is tell the assign the uh, sorry about that assign the extruder to the process uh, the same as we did to create this model now you'll notice we haven't had to use a purge tower yet because this is a simple change coloring changing extruders at a certain z height so there's only one color at any given z height as soon as you go to two or more colors at any z height that's when you need a purge so your colors are separated. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back and there's our five processes. What I'm going to do because we have to add we have to change this around a little bit and add an extruder. I'm just going to delete all the processes we had going. Add a process. Well, that's what we're going to end up with. Let's just pick the one that this was printed with before it was this one I messed up the name that's okay well this one also has it let's go with this one <laughs> sorry about that I should have checked that ahead of time this is pretty much the processes uh, profile we had set up Let's just check to be sure we have the left and right extruder. All the settings look correct. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do, as I said before, we want to set this up as much as possible before we add a bunch of processes. But the only thing we have to do to this now is we have to add an extruder. And again, you can name this anything you want. We're going to call this one Mix because this is going to be our mixed color. And we want it to associate this uh, left is zero, right is one. So mix will make tool two. Make sure these settings are m matching. They don't always have to be. Sometimes you have to change these around a little bit. But for the most part, we're going through the same hot end. So we'll want them basically the same. Um, let's see, I guess better. All the rest of the settings should be the same. The, the extruders come up at a different, uh, different setting, but all the rest of these should be the same as what our profile was to begin with. And it looks like it is. Okay. So at this point, let's go ahead and cut this into our boring little traffic cone. Sorry about that. They're just very, uh, just a simple model just to explain what we're doing. I'm only going to do one stripe in the middle of this time. Let's go there. Add location. Actually, I don't like that. Let's go back. Let's remove that. Not that it matters that much. This is just for demonstration purposes. Uh, close enough. Add location. Now split process. Okay, so we have our three processes. 
So we'll go to process one. That's going to be the very bottom part of the cone. I want to print with uh, the left extruder. So we go to layer, make sure it says left, additions is left, infill left. Okay, so that's all good. Uh, process two. Let's just go with our other extruder for this one. It'll be the right extruder. Set that to right. Set infill to right. And again, if we had support with support that we were doing on a model, you'd want to make sure to select the correct extruder for that. Everything else should be fine. Okay, now we'll go to process three. This is going to be the very top of the cone. And we'll use our mix for this one. So we go and select the mix extruder here and the mix extruder here. So, that should be all set. Now, you're going to say, well, we've selected three, ex three extruders, but my machine only has one, uh, two rather. <laughs> so we have to set up what's called a virtual tool, a, uh, basically an extruder that doesn't exist, but we're going to make it, uh, we're going to make it up as we go. So we're going to go to our start script. And in here, how we're going to go about this is M163 S0. What this is going to do is it's going to tell the firmware to take S0, which is actually Tool 0 or E0, we're setting 0 or saving 0, P. 0 0.20 so what I'm doing is telling telling it to set extruder 0 to 20% 0.20 20% then we'll come down and we'll say M163 S1 P0.80 I'm choosing these numbers because I have GTEC blue and GTEC yellow PLA and I know that if I put a large amount of yellow and only a small amount of blue, I get a fairly decent looking green. So then, to save this, or to set this as an extruder, we type M164. S for a set, 2. So now we've taken a 20% mix of E, uh, tool 0 and an 80% mix of tool 1 and we've saved it as a virtual tool which will be called tool 2. So that's all we have to do. It's all set to go. Okay, prepare to print. Make sure you select all processes and if it gives you this warning about not being configured for the number of extruders we have, I don't know why S3 does, S3D does it but it does. It's okay. Just select yes. All right. I've been talking about blue, yellow, and green PLA. Obviously, these colors, or maybe not obviously, are not representative of the actual colors because if you remember, the mix was going to be on top, which would have been green. These are just the colors that S3D uses uh, to show you uh, what tool is being printed. So anything tool zero is in blue. Anything in tool 1 is going to print in green. Anything in tool 2, which is our mix, will be up here in yellow. So that, that's it. It's just as easy as that. I've actually got this model printing behind me at the moment. That's what all the extra fan noise is about today. And it's just about done with the blue part. So I'll tack a uh, I'll tack a picture onto the end. We could quickly just go back here and well, let's wait a minute. Prepare to print. Let's go back. Sorry, I'm a little uh, off with this today. Let's just say this was a mix up here at the top. Let's say we did want to do four colors. We could go back and say to the variable settings wizard. 
And we could break this last segment up. It's already halfway up this last segment because that was the process we had set. So I could actually just add a location here and split the process. Now you see we have a process 1-3.1 and a 1-3.2. We could go here to this process, which will end up being the very top of that cone. We could add even another extruder, call it mix 2. Set it as tool 3. Set these parameters. So that's set, and then we'd go back to our scripts, and we can just take and copy and paste this. But now what we want to do, say we want to switch this around, this would be kind of a lighter green, this would be a darker green. So we'll just switch this around, make this an 80% mix of blue, only a 20% mix of yellow. Actually I'm not because I know from experience with this filament that won't work well. I'm actually going to say... Let's make this 70 and 30. This is going to be found out by you by experimentation with your filament. You're just going to have to print anything, you know, test cubes or anything. You can use the LCD controls on your printer to vary that mix while it's printing. So say you did a, a tall test cube or something like that. You could sit there and adjust that mix as you go and write down the numbers what color you think looks the best and then use that for your virtual tools later okay so we've set extruder 0 for 70 extruder 1 for 30 and set this as virtual tool 3 that's it and we go back to prepare to print select all processes and it did not work oh why it didn't work because I did not go <laughs> sorry about that I did not go to layer and select mix 2 for this process. Did not select the extruder. Okay, now when we go to prepare to print, we should see four colors. There we go. So now this blue part would print uh, in whatever filament is loaded into your E0. Green part, tool 1 or E1. Our yellow is a 20 and 80 percent mix of these two colors and this red part up here says tool 3 was a what I do 70 70 percent and 30 percent and you can do that I don't know how many times I I don't know if there's a limit oh actually I know there's a limit here there's only six extruders available so you could have your two normal colors, whatever's in E0, whatever's in E1, and then four virtual colors. You can change tool to, tool 0 and tool 1 to mixes, so you could have six different mixes if you wanted. But I generally just leave tool 0 and tool 1 as the solid colors as they are in the extruders. Anyway, that's a, a quick way to set up three or more extruders uh, and your virtual tools and I like I said I will uh, post a picture of our sorry of the one we did first with just the three colors it's printing behind me well I, I messed that up I cut it off anyway Hope this helps you understand how to set up the virtual tools in S3D for mixed color printing with the A10M and A20M. Have a good day.